What are you doing? Oh, hey, Professor Berger. I was just thinking about numbers. Oh, I love numbers. They're some of my favorite things in the world, and I know tons of them. Big ones and small ones and huge ones. Wow. I was kind of thinking maybe you could start at the beginning telling me about numbers. Oh, absolutely. In fact, that's a great place to start. Why don't we just start with one and two? Perfect. So, actually, let's take a look at a really fun riddle that involves one and two. Perfect. Now, Amy has one crayon, and Vera has two crayons. The question is, who has more crayons? Hmm. Now, we can model this, and let me show you how it looks. So, here we go. So, using a model, we can actually count one and two. So, here's Amy's crayon, and here's Vera's two crayons. And the way we model it is using what's called a five frame. And a five frame just looks like a bunch of cubby holes, doesn't it? Yeah. So here's one five frame. That will be for Amy. Here's another five frame. That is going to be for Vera. Vera. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put Amy right here so we'll know this is Amy. And this is Vera. So they're their names. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to represent... Amy's crayon by filling in the cubby holes with what are called counters. They're just little thingies. And we put in one counter for each of the crayons. So there's one counter to correspond with the one crayon of Amy. Right. Great. Now, if we take these two crayons of Vera's... Oh, oh, oh. You'll need two counters. Brilliant. Did you get that? Excellent. Yeah. So now we've got one counter one. and another counter. Two. And now we've just modeled one and two. And now we can just look at these and see which is bigger. Where are there more counters? Um, Vera. That's absolutely right. Congratulations. So, in fact, what we see is that two is actually bigger than one. Yes. And we've actually modeled that by looking at these crayons and using this five frame and these counters to actually see visually that this is bigger than that. So two is bigger than one. So now we know one and two. What do you think? I totally understand one and two. Look, look, I have one nose and two ears and, and oh, look, you have two eyes you got it. and one mouth you got it. And, and two shoes and two feet you got, all right, and Joey. two legs. Oh, and, and you Joey. have two ears on one face and, and one head with one nose. Joey. All in. On two, shoulder, on two shoulders, and then... Have fun with math. Oh, we'll see you soon. Joey. <laughs>